so there is an air strip around here that's why uh, there's so much noise from the airplane which is gone now but I'm still talking loudly welcome to another coast edition of uh, houses I'm enjoying myself Uko Mombasani uh, the breeze is nice like right now I can see the ocean huh I'm just remembering the letters I used to send to my uh, girlfriends huh the oceans and seats my love runs deeper than the oceans and this is so example near there is an ocean right here so apart from uh, sweating profusely uh, I am at a place called uh, Pazuri at uh, Vipingo and it's a bit windy here so I'm gonna let you follow me into the house This is a four bedroom villa. Uh, this place, sometimes they rent it out to travelers, uh, you know, so some of the rooms are locked, but I could just gleam through a couple of rooms here and there that were open. And that is what I'm gonna show you, but I'm gonna try and do the best that I can. So where we were uh, a moment ago is the terrace. And then there's another terrace here. There is an air strip around here. That's why uh, there's so much noise from the airplane, which is gone now. But I'm still talking loudly. Uh, this is uh, terrace number two. Uh, there's one terrace over there, and then this is another terrace. I think uh, the Wamama can uh, use that other terrace, and then the boys can come and uh, chop our stories and uh, maybe drinks if you like on the terrace. It's a bit windy. I hope uh, the wind is not interrupting, but how will you know I'm being chopped by the breeze? So terrace, one there, another terrace here. And if you look from this uh, terrace, there's an awesome view. Uh, right there, there is uh, a plane which was making noise there. And then that's the ocean. That's the ocean. Oh, that is the ocean. Huh? Can you imagine? Huh? All that is the ocean. So, uh, so what you do when you're here, you can just, uh, you know, decide that you're swimming back home. Like maybe you live in the diaspora and you're here. You just dash in that direction. Lafuna chapa freestyle paka America. Check it. Ah, yeah, 
the joke was work. So let's go and uh, see the other rooms. Remember, we've, we are doing this backward this time. We've started upstairs. We're going downstairs. For your guests who are coming to hang out at the terrace, there's a loo here, which uh, shows that it was very thoughtful. So they don't have to come downstairs to use the bathroom. Uh, this is a this is a four bedroom villa, and uh, can I be seen properly? Yes. So this is a four bedroom villa. Uh, this is uh, one of the rooms over here. We can check it out. It's open. So there's a bathroom in here. Uh, it's a very neat bathroom. There's a shower there and a toilet uh, bowl over there and uh, the place for doing your teeth, blah, blah, blah. And then this is now the room. So it's a nice large room with the amazing ocean view and uh, enough lighting. There, there's uh, a window. There's a window on this side, which is dope. And uh, also a couple of little windows on that side, meaning more light, more natural light, which is awesome, man. I love the view. I love, this is a very peaceful view, man. Then uh, it didn't come with the traditional uh, kabatis, uh, you know, wardrobes. It's just a little partition here and there. And then you just put in your stuff and, uh, you know, and enjoy the coast. So uh, I told you there are people here who have uh, rented the rooms. So some guys have left their stuff here, so I don't want to stay up for a long time. Then they think, So let's go check out if there's any other room which is open. I have to switch off the lights. Turn off the light, turn off the light. So I've uh, discovered I've discovered there's a way to sneak into this other uh, this other room through this uh, entrance. I wish uh, I wish you could feel what I'm feeling. This room has uh, AC on, so when you just enter here, ah, it feels so cool. So this is the other room, uh, very big room, uh, very big bed uh, fits over here, king size bed. Uh, it's just like the other one, not uh, normal, but it's just a little space. Come, come here, I'll show you. So this is the sort of uh, place to put your stuff. It's a concrete uh, partition, very, you know, rustic. So this place is a very neat bathroom, there's a shower over there, a little place here for doing your business and then the, the place for brushing your teeth, nin, nin, nin over here. So yeah, coastal life, coastal things. This villa feels like those Dubai like, you know, places, huh? it feels, it has that feel, it has that feel. So after turning off these lights, but have you seen this mirror? Huh? How do you like this mirror? Yes, sir. But then all this time I've got something in my teeth. And you can't tell me there's something in my teeth? I'm focusing on That was some uh, uh, cashew nuts. I bought some cashew nuts when I was working in Kilifi, so don't worry. It was just uh, a cashew nut. So this is the door uh, to this place. So guess what? This is terrace number three. From here you have a good view about uh, what's happening in the estate. Uh, you can check out your lawn from here. It's just uh, open plan everywhere. And I think maybe here you can... Uh, can you really hang your clothes here? Maybe down there. No. Here would be messing up the estate. Let's go downstairs and check out the sitting room. Uh, 
uh, from this uh, side door you can uh, use the side to just uh, come to the side of your house and just uh, check what's happening on this side of the building So this is the backyard. The backyard is huge. Check all that space out. Look at all that. Huh? So you have space, space, space. And I'm sure when you buy the villa, you'll be able to sort out the grass properly. But remember, this is the coast. Sometimes growing grass is uh, a bit tough, but uh, so far so good over here, considering, uh, considering the circumstances. So this door goes back through into the kitchen. And there's also another door here. I think there's a room there so you can access the backyard through that room. But uh, let's go and uh, check out the living room. So there's a pump here for, for water, I guess. So the water maneno is sorted. So now after you finish checking out what's happening, uh, when you finish checking out what's happening on the side uh, of your house, you can use the side door to go back in. So uh, this side door space and the space upstairs to the rooms upstairs, uh, this is an enclosed space. So from there you can't, uh, you need to go through a door to come and access this space upstairs. So. There is some little space there. I think you can utilize this space for probably storing stuff like shoes or something. There is a washroom over here for downstairs business. And other. So this is now the living room. So this is the living room. It is huge. Uh, open plan kitchen, which is something that I really, really love. Quality finishes. The wood that has been used looks like uh, it is wood that has gone to Harvard University and uh, graduated with Nini uh, Kam uh, Yo, Kam Laude yo. But if you're if you're a local guy. It has uh, graduated uh, with an A. I'm a okay, to say me A minus. A would be a bit of a stretch. But uh, E, the wood here is A minus wood. Let's check out the kitchen. So, another thing, let's go back to the lights. Another thing that has happened is there are two rooms downstairs over here. There's a room over there, and then now there's a room here. But now uh, there are people who have uh, taken up those rooms and gone to the ocean. So now I can access those rooms. So let me just show you the kitchen. This is uh, the very cute uh, kitchen space. I love the quality of the finishings. Uh, there's some wooden. Uh, in Mombasa, there's this style of using wood, which is quite interesting. Like the, the wood has this ventilation like stuff here. If you check out here, you'll see. Uh, this is the style here, at least in most of the houses that I've seen around here. So the wood uh, cabinets are looking good. There's a hood over here. Then you have your cooker here for making your coastal dishes. Mnazi, wali wakupaka. Ah, samaki wakupaka na kwambia. Alafu na kwambia kwamba mahamri na zambazo weza zitengeneza hapa. Ni mahamri ambazo zinapenya. Alafu na kwambia vitu kama birinyanyi, birinyanya. Na vitu kama hizo. Waweza zila hapa. Waweza zila hapa kosti. Birinyanya ujui wewe? Biringanya. Biringanya. Ah, ni nini? No, you don't make biringanya? No. What do you do? You get it from the shop. Oh, biringanya. Yes. Anakuambia. Sasa ukisha kuchukua biringanya kutoka kwa shamba. Eh, there is a very nice uh, sink over here. Where you just do your, your dishes and stuff. And it's a quality sink. Uh, it's a quality sink. It has this 
thing is which you can uh, remove so if you see a sink which you can remove uh, maybe if you live in Nairobi and you're scared that someone will uh, use your sink, you can carry them. You carry them to Nairobi. Alafu unarundi nazo. Alafu mtu atakuwa ametumia sink yako. Unacheki? Unacheki? So, this is a pantry. There's somebody in the comments who said I have to be very serious about pantries. So, this is a pantry. And... Uh, it is a very serious part of the house where you store your things. So the pantry is here. You can store your ungas, nini, nini, nini. And because of the dry weather, I think they're going to last a very good long time. Uh, let's check out the front yard. So remember, there's a room on this side and on that side, which unfortunately I cannot access. So this is the front yard. This place is open uh, style, like American style. There are no fences and street gates. So this is how it looks. Remember, this is the four bedroom villa. Uh, you can come and uh, upgrade the landscaping. But even now, I think it looks good enough. Then you have uh, two car parking over here. The place is all cabro. Uh, they're still extending it on this side and uh, back on that side and this place is vast so uh, They're just colonizing it uh, plot by plot even as uh, people like you come and uh, grab this uh, space I love this open uh, plant style American style uh, I love the, the way there are no grills you see like there are no grills um, There's been a lot of uh, debate in the comments about grills no, but I think if you have some good security, um, like it's worth it's not having grills. And then uh, I don't think a grill can stop a real criminal. Eh? Mtu criminal. Kama uyo mtu ni criminal. Will a grill truly stop them? But that's up for debate. But these ones do have grills and I love it. So, uh, so let's go and check out the b three bedroom. Uh, house and then I think we'll be done so we close the windows now let's go and check out the other villa that word is nice villa Where? Okay. Like those phone calls can be nice ones, eh? Like uh, those phone calls for my villa. Those guys in my villa in Kosto are really calling me. Like that's a nice phone call, eh? So I hear the service charge around here is 10,000 per month, which is like uh, rent of a three bedroom bungalow in Kitangela. <laughs> I'm lying. <laughs> but I think that's fair considering the space. So here it is. Landscaping is already happening here. So here it is. Three bedroom. Three bedroom. I don't know why guys do this in videos, but I don't know. Three bedroom. Three bedroom units. You have to nod your head while doing it. So this is the three bedroom uh, unit, which is uh, very, very neat. Uh, the day is about to, like it's, uh, what time is it? It's 4.30 right now, so it's getting a bit dark. So let me switch on the lights and see if we can be able to see something inside here. So uh, just like the villa, it's open plan. So this is the kitchen area, just like the other villa, the wood trim is uh, awesome. Uh, I feel like the, like the size of the island looks uh, slightly bigger, 
uh, maybe it's just the way the design has been placed here. I feel like it it uh, fits here like a Lego. You know those Legos? I feel like it just fits in like a proper Lego um, in this uh, living room. So it opens up to the sitting room over here, aka living room, depending uh, which uh, phrase you want to use. There's a hood in this uh, little kitchen. And then this door. Ah! There's a room here. So there's a nice, uh, very neat room over here. There's a guest here, so I don't want to stay here for long. Very neat, if you uh, check that out. That bed looks uh, awesome. Um, so, let's see the other rooms. There's a loo here. So this is one of the other bedrooms uh, in the three bedroom uh, villa and uh, it opens up to a very uh, the parking area so from here your view will be the parking but it still looks good when the lawn is manicured it looks awesome a little bathroom over here i love the door check out this door This is nice. Very creative. There's a fan here and the air AC. And this is the other bedroom. Uh, very big. Uh, the rooms in this house are huge, Mazi. They're huge rooms. This one has a nice uh, little balcony. So you can sit there with your uh, newspaper and just uh, catch up with what's happening in. The other noisy places on the earth because here there is no noise so just uh, kamakawa kamadawa there is a nice neat uh, bathroom in there let me switch on the lights see if it'll ah oh, man the lights are not working i don't know why but uh, yeah so yes that's a three bedroom villa for you Let's check out what's on this end. So at the end of this corridor, there is a, a, a washroom over here where you can... Uh, where do I keep describing what you can do in the washroom? So there is a washroom here. So. This is, uh, this is brilliant. I think this is my highlight. Even the ocean has not uh, shaken me like this place. Look at this. This is so neat. So you can do your washing here. You can have all the, your gadgets over here. Like, this is amazing. Then now there are stairs that go up to the terrace over here. Maybe you can just check it out. Look at that. Look at that space. Huge. Huge space. Like you can even plant... Uh, you can even plant wheat in this uh, space over here and just get a combine harvester to come and get your wheat because this place is very very big I think this will need a shade because the sun is doing it in So this is a terrace where you can entertain, you can put a canopy here and just have fun. So yes, this is the three bedroom villa. Um, I'll put the prices of the place. I'll put the prices of uh, the place in the description. You know, prices are, you know, like they oscillate depending on where the, de the, the developer is at with the development. That's why I don't like seeing the price. Uh, I'd rather write it. So if there's any change, I just edit and uh, update the price. It's a bit windy up here. So there's also a two bedroom villa, Pazuri at Vipingo. 
one of the dopest places very affordable compared to the neighbors then you can also enjoy the amenities around here you can go to Vipingo and uh, Vipingo Ridge and play golf or uh, just uh, swim uh, but I'm sure they're gonna develop a pool here eventually and then there's also Centum who have built a huge place here I think it's called Lawali so you can go check it out and then um, they are also building a mall here so it's uh, I think in the next say a couple of years maybe six seven years this place will be a totally different place to be from what it is right now uh, the you know it's it's uh, slightly out of town so I feel like this area will be the the current of Gusto so I think um, I give this place a very serious 4.5 out of 5 stars how about you let me know in the comments there ends my uh, Mombasani tour uh, Emmanuel Kisiangani Mombasa uh, who knows where I'll go next uh, maybe Rongai you know like uh, there's no limit to places I can go uh, Odiru you know Ruaka uh, Ruai Gitukuri Banana <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me I'll see you on the next video ciao Thank you.